Hey coffee nerds, welcome back. I'm Brody, so great to see all of your smiling caffeinated faces. Check this out. Well, actually you probably can't even see this. Let me dim this here. Check this out. I'm gonna show you how, this is, this is still too dark. You know what I'm gonna do? Throw it up right here, you can follow along. I'm gonna hit record on my screen because today we're gonna go through how to use Instagram Reels for your coffee business or you know if you're just a coffee nerd at home brewing you want to show people some of your process that's what I've been doing reels is not necessarily new but some of us myself included are still taking some time to get our heads around the different functions I'm still trying to get my head around TikTok. If someone wants to send me a video of how to use that for coffee I would love to see it but reels you know I use Instagram all the time so let's just jump right into it all you have to do is go over here to your stories pretty intuitive there you can see me on the screen and at the bottom you can see here we have live stories and reels this is kind of something that they changed recently um, just to make it easier to, to distinguish each one you know I'm not going to get into stories right now you're probably pretty pretty familiar with it but basically right here at the top you can choose this is more if you're actually going to record on the fly you know I'll show you my setup right here pretty makeshift um, but if you're recording on the fly and you want to post something you know you can click how long you want the reels to be that's just something that's different th from TikTok, I believe that you can actually make a 30 second reel or a 15 second one music uh, we'll get into that in a second but basically you can just choose any track that you'd like to put over your reels in my particular case my the clip that I'm gonna be using um, was one f you know, I'm just kind of breaking up some some clips from a YouTube video that I had posted recently about five coffee photo tricks that you can use. So I'm kind of just recycling some of that content to post it to my Instagram audience. So I'm going to use those clips. But if you you know if you're using something else, you can use um, you can use music uh, from the whole the whole selection. There's some effects over here. I'm not going to really get into that so much. Um, well, I guess this one. Meh. I'm not going to use this one. So. Basically, well, here we are, and uh, we're not going to use any of those things because because we're just going to upload a previous clip. Here's my clip, and I chopped it down, made sure it was around 30 seconds uh, in another in another app. I'll just turn up the volume here so you can kind of see. There's the music, and what as you can see here, this is actually a horizontal display because I had filmed this for YouTube. I I had filmed it in landscape. But the difference is that Reels just just came up with this update. You used to they used to fill your whole entire screen and just crop the clip for you. To be honest, I didn't like it at first, but then I thought, you know, I like having those reels fill up the whole entire screen. It's something that I do with my Instagram photos as well. I try to always shoot portrait because when people are scrolling, they're gonna get the full effect as opposed to shooting landscape. Um, you might do the same, you might not. That's just my that's just my preference and and here too so what I'm gonna do is actually hit scale and get that nice close-up view of the coffee pouring in over the ice so we're gonna just add that right there now that's done you see my face again but there's nothing more to add it I don't really want to add my uh, you know portrait of myself or anything so we're just gonna hit go ahead you know you hit the right arrow it shows you the clip you can hear the music in the background and then this is the time to to get creative so th the purpose of this clip is actually just showing people the kind of different versions of the cascading effect if you're trying to take pictures um, you know as you can see I took some pictures here and so what I want to do is maybe just start with a little bit of an intro text so all you have to do is click the, the center of the screen and what I'm gonna what I'm gonna write is um, cascading effect for iced coffee and then you know you can choose whatever whatever style you you want to put on here I've been kind of getting into this kind of a little bit faded gray color so I'm gonna stay consistent to that but what's unique here from stories because when you post on stories the major difference here is that you know the any text that you add in stories it stays on the screen the whole entire time the whole duration of the stories and also they're they're divided into 15 second segments this is obviously 30, 30 seconds but what you can do is actually choose when the text comes up in in the in the reel and so if you've watched a lot of reels lately you'll notice that the text seems to come up and and disappear so what i'm going to do here is maybe i'll even crop a little bit of the the beginning you can see some of the ingredients here. Um, I'm going to put this maybe down here a little bit. 
and you can see I'm putting in the coffee ice cubes. Did not want to pin that. I'm putting in uh, some of these coffee ice cubes from the last reel, if you watched it. And then there you can see that it's dripping over and I just wanted to show, you know, until this point. So maybe what I'll do is chop it there with the text and then that text is gonna disappear. Um, so for the next part, and I'm not gonna take you through this whole process, your video is gonna be different than mine, uh, but let me just let me just finish this off, so. Um, I'm even gonna put another little text in her here saying, pour in milk of choice. And it's kind of a quick read, put that in here. This needs to be a, lot, a little bit longer. So it takes a bit of finesse, but as you can see, you can get quite creative with with that part. And then I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this here and I'll show you how to, to post this and, and make the best of it. Anyway, that is that looks ready to go. I'm just gonna give you a quick note over here about the stickers. You can add a little sticker. It is Friday. Friday mood could probably, you know, fit this, but the problem is that these don't allow you to adjust when they appear, so you basically get it there the whole time. If that's what you want, go for it. It's not what I want on this video. So I'm gonna hit forward again, and uh, what's cool is you can actually choose the cover, and this is very important because, you know, when if you are putting it on your reels and you want people to see a specific photo when they're looking at it, not like maybe it's like a photo of your face in, in mid biting on a sandwich or, or something, or or sipping a coffee, maybe you want that. But you get you get to choose which one they see. And so I think that's probably the one that I want them to see here. Um, and not only that, if you hit here, also share to feed, as you can see this little slider, that's gonna pop up on your main feed. But don't worry, you can actually remove that from your feed later if, you, if you're not super into having it on your grid and it still stays in your reel. So this is a good way to kind of introduce that you just posted a new reel to your audience. Um, but then you can get rid of it later once you know you feel like enough people have seen it. So you can write a quick caption here. I, you know I'm gonna kind of keep it simple, but basically uh, I'd love to see your cascading coffee photos. You just hit share. Boom. There it is. Takes a little bit of time to to load and and appear there because I guess it's a heavy file, um, but. Then you'll see it in your feed, you'll see it in your reels, people can follow along, and it's super fun. So um, that's basically it. If you wanna test out the music and test out some of those other functions and features for reels, um, that's not a bad idea at all. I love being able to do that and just pick my favorite songs and not have to worry about going into editing software and downloading the music and finding the license free or whatever. So that is fun, you know, here's, here's a, uh, Here's another one where I was able to use some from Tribe Called Quest. And you just add it in later. Uh, this, is a, this is a clip that I, I didn't have music for. It's all kind of like fast, fast clips. As you can see, this is an example of one that you could just do on your phone on the fly. I personally like to film before so I'm not like stuck in the Instagram app the whole entire time in case it you know, you close the app or, you know, get, you get a message and it takes you away. So I like to just record the videos from my phone and then edit it later, um, which also allows you to do. So have fun, check it out, let me know what you think. I'm gonna stop that recording here. I'd love to hear your adventures with Instagram Reels and maybe even TikTok. If you have any tips for how to make the best of, of TikTok in the coffee world or any of your, any of your interests really, shoot me a comment down below. Like this video if you got anything out of it and subscribe because I'm excited to share some more coffee related content and also hear some of your, your feedback on what do you want to hear. So hope to hear from you soon. That is Instagram Reels. I will see you later.